such a popular sport. But, Deputy Speaker, here uh, tonight I'm here to uh, speak about a very important issue. Yesterday I had the great pleasure, together indeed, uh, and privileged together with other people of this parliament from every political party, uh, to stand with uh, Brad Chilcott, the director of Welcome uh, to Australia. Uh, and as I said, along with other colleagues of mine from the Liberal Party, uh, from uh, people from the Greens, uh, independents, and of course uh, from the government side, uh, the Labor Party, uh, to talk about the impossible plight, a very impossible plight uh, of refugees around the world. Deputy Speaker, we stood together uh, to acknowledge that we need to rise above the fears and above the prejudices that exist, to rise above the party politics uh, and rise above the intolerance and ignorance and inject some humanity and some humility into this debate uh, over how best to manage the refugee issue here in Australia and migration into Australia. We stood together because we believe that what defines us here as a nation is not the colour of our race or our religion uh, or where we were born or how we made our journey here to Australia. Uh, what matters, Deputy Speaker, is our uniquely uh, Australian values of uh, equality, uh, mateship and a fair go for everyone. That's the Australia I grew up in, and I'm sure that's the Australia that you grew up in as well, Deputy Speaker. We stood together yesterday to do the press conference because we believe that no matter how you arrive, it is our responsibility as members of parliament, as governments, as members of the opposition, uh, to help people to belong, to help people to prosper and contribute to Australia, and because we recognise that the incredibly complex issue of refugee migration is dealt no justice, absolutely no justice, by the simplistic one-line slogans that we've been hearing. Deputy Speaker, I grew up as a, uh, as, a, as a child of migrant parents. When I asked my parents why they came to Australia from the other end of the world, why they left their community, their belongings, everything they had ever known, uh, to come to a place on the other side of the world, they give a simple but very heartfelt answer. And they tell me that they left for Australia because they wanted to be able to dream a better life for their children. They couldn't imagine anything worse, Deputy Speaker, uh, than their children growing up without any hope. This is what makes Australia the best country in the world. Uh, we are all united because we can dream. Uh, we are united because we all hope for a better life for our children. And we are united because we not only hope and dream but we are so often blessed with realising uh, those hopes and dreams. But, Deputy Speaker, if we demonise those who are so vulnerable and defenceless that they have no other option than to risk their lives on a journey to Australia, if we resort to those three and four word slogans that we've been hearing, if we call people illegal immigrants because they find themselves in a situation that we can never imagine finding uh, ourselves in, if we seek to divide people, Deputy Speaker, uh, to degrade people, to dehumanise people, then we threaten everything, everything that makes Australia such a great, welcoming, tolerant society uh, as we have been for many, many years. It's given so many hopes and dreams to so many people here in this country, like my parents. And that is why, Deputy Speaker, this weekend on Saturday, Together with other members of parliament here, uh, we will be joining people from all walks of life from across Adelaide and South Australia, the South Australian Parliament, at, uh, at 1pm uh, at Welcome to Australia's Walk Together. The event centres on the idea that Australians are welcoming, generous and compassionate people that should extend their hand to all people, no matter how they came here, and an idea many in the community, including myself, share. The message of Welcome to Australia oh, is simple. Members time if has we're all expired, people, we're... I propose the question that the House do now.